Hi okay, so guys, we are in London at the European Championships and uh, I'm with Hugo down here, hello, hey. and Cam. And we are actually about to head off to the Pokemon Center pop-up shop for a little bit of a shopping spree. Yep. And we're gonna get some cuddly toys. <laughs> we're gonna see what we can pick up guys. We're gonna go and shop around and then, uh, yeah, at the end, we'll show you what we managed to pick up. So uh, yeah. let's go. Peace. <laughs> Dancing in the queue to keep yourself happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy. Oh my god, Hugo, do you want to say hi to Pikachu? Yeah! First? Pikachu? Who's <gasps> over here? There's a little tree in the middle. Oh my god! Yo! Oh, oh, oh nice that's Pikachu! <laughs> Thank you so much, Pikachu! What'd you say, Hugo? Hi, bye. Bye, Pikachu! Thank you! Oh my God, guys, that was the best. And after a long wait in the queue, guys, we finally made it in. And the first thing that I caught my eye was the uh, the Pokemon Center ETBs. And I had to grab one. They're actually slightly cheaper than what you would pay grabbing them online. So brilliant stars it was. Then we went into the next section, which was like all statues and like ornaments. Now, these are really cool, but they were not cheap. They had the Pokeballs out. Show you. I do actually have the Pokeball myself, but the Master Ball looks pretty nice. Cam managed to find a Jarazard poster. I was told I must buy this, which I actually did. Then we checked out the boards, but I tell you what, at 250 quid, it's a little bit rich for my blood, guys. There were some really, really cool, like big pictures and stuff all up there. Look at the Evolution one, very nice. Cam then found the only exclusive item left. He was very happy about it though, of course. Then we hit up the plushy section. This was actually the biggest area of the lot, I have to say. And there were so many different ones in there. And some of them, not as comfy or cozy looking as the others, like that Dialga. But the Meowth was really nice. And this Cubone, I was a big fan of. They had the Gen 1 starters, including Sleepy Evolutions, which I did like. And I did grab my youngest son, Logan, a Charmander as a little present for him, which he is loving. Hugo was having a blast and he did have a request though. Mike, can I, can I get a plushie please, Dada? Yeah. Yeah. How could I say no, guys? So he had to go for the Gengar Mellow, which I really like actually. I kind of want to get one of these myself. There was then the clothes section and like some interesting choices of designs, of course, here. But I do like the Charizard one. I was eyeballing that one a little bit. More plushies, of course, everywhere. They had some nice watches. They had this purse. And I was like, shall I get it for the wife? Not at that price, I won't. They had the bags as well, which are very cool. And one other championship item, which I didn't spot earlier, which was the the top there was a giant archon look at the size of the thing and look at that special delivery charles up post that's so cool but we found what we really wanted guys the trading card section and there was this whole wall here of the check lane blister packs which i was just thinking how many hits could be in all of those packs so i definitely had to pick up some of these and they were like 2.99 rather than 3.99 so actually a very good price again it's always nice when they do these pop-ups because they do reduce the prices which i do like lots of tins and like older ones in here as well a whole wall of pokemon go which hugo obviously spotted the pikachu one of course he would there was the battle stadiums which i like the six pack scarlet and violet blisters so i had to grab some of them they had these pin collections with one of them being a celebi which uh, I was telling Cam he should go for. All these different Evolutions tins, I'm sure these were pretty much gone by the start of the next day. Loads of crowns in it, as you can imagine, including the more Pico playmat, which I actually think is one of the best products you can buy. But after that, guys, we paid and we were off and it was time to show you what we got. And I am back, guys, back in the office to show you guys everything I picked up at the Pokemon Center pop-up shop today, minus two items that aren't in the bag that I picked up. We had the, the mellow Gengar squishy thing that Hugo picked out for himself. And I also got a Charmander plushie that I got for my youngest son. Reason I'm not showing you guys is they're actually both asleep in bed now and they're cuddled up to each of their toys that they got. And I thought it would be a little bit mean of me to like take them off them just to show them in the video. So yeah. First item up here, guys, this Charizard poster, which actually gives me like flash fire uh, vibes. You know the full art version of the flash fire? I'll probably put it on screen, right? It kind of does look a very similar the way it's looking back. Um, I was forced into buying this, if I'm honest, by Hugo and uh, Cam. They said, you're a Charizard fan, you have to buy it. So, so I did. But 
Next up, we have one of the big items I bought. This is the Brilliant Stars Pokemon Center ETB. Now, I own one of these, but I've never opened the Pokemon Center version. So, interesting to crack that open. We'll, we'll, pack, we'll speed run through packs once I've showed you everything. But, hopefully, we can actually get some big hits for all this money I spent. We have the Scarlet and Violet six-pack booster bundle. Not opened a Scarlet and Violet version. I've done, like, the Silver Tempest ones. Didn't go too well for me. But, you never know. The hits in Scarlet and Violet are really easy to come by. So, you never know. It could be a mirror in there. We have the Galarian Power Mini Tin. Now, I don't remember what booster packs has inside. I have a feeling it's going to be like Chilling Rain and maybe Darkness Ablaze. We have one of the Crown Zenith Mini Tins. I love these tins. I pulled one of the Mewtwo V-Stars out of this, which like one of my favorite cards from the Crown Zenith set. But it'd be nice if we could get the Giratina Gold cards. The only one I'm missing, I think, now from the Gold set. We then got a whole bunch of sleeved boosters. One Chilling Rain, two Scarlet and Violet, one Silver Tempest, the Fusion Strike, and two Brilliant Stars. This was actually one of my favorite things in the Pokemon Center, was the wall of these sleeve boosters. I thought, that's really cool, actually. You see so many of the different ones. I actually wish I'd bought more of these over anything else. I think when you're there and it was like so hectic, I feel like you just kind of had to grab something and be like, oh, and I came out going, yeah, yeah, I kind of wish I was more strategic about what I bought, but you know, I'm still happy. I still think I've got some good bits. Um, and the plushies, I'm not gonna lie, they've gone down an absolute Hugo is loving that Melech, and I feel like I want to get some more of those because they're great for like an in car pillow. And the boys, I need to get they are so cool. I love that. All right, guys, so we're gonna speed run through some packs now and see how we got on with those hits. First up. We're going to go Chilling Rain. We're not going to do any card tricks here because we've got a lot of stuff to go through. One Hollow from Chilling Rain. We've got Scarlet and Violet. I think we'll get hit from one of these blister packs. You know, I actually think we'll get something half decent out of these. I, uh, I've i just got this feeling. Can we? Can we? First one, first one. Any magic in that? N no, nothing in pack number one there. By the way, what are you guys doing about like all the Hollows and stuff you get from Scarlet and Violet? Because obviously you get so many, right? And I don't know about you, like, they're obviously kind of just a bit like, I don't know, it might mean to say it's like a bit like Bolt now, having Scarlet and Violet hollows and stuff, like, you know, is that mean to say? Um, okay. Oh! <laughs> Let's go! No way! Miriam full art! Okay, not obviously the special illustration rare, but I've now pulled both of the Miriams from the set, which are... Two of the bigger cards. God, there's not a lot of value in them. But, you know, still awesome. We'll take that. Silver Tempest next. And so far, okay, I kind of thought I might come out of this, right? And basically pull absolutely nothing from all of these packs I bought. But so far, no, nothing in that one. It's a, it's a full art. Not bad. Fusion Strike now. Imagine all art. All art Gengar. All art Mew. Oh, uh, is it the Espeons in here as well? And, oh, not in that pack. It's not, that's for sure. Right. Come on, Fusion. Give us a big hit. I actually have a, a bit of a newfound love for Fusion Strike. Looking back at some of the all I'm like, Chuck, damn, that's a really good set. It's just really harsh with pull rates, right? But, eh, we got a hollow. We got the Grim Snarl. We'll take a hollow in that. Time for Brilliant Stars. This is actually one of my all time favorite Sword and Shield sets. I think you've got this Evolving Skies, Crown Zenith. And uh, actually, Fusion. I, I do think Fusion is right up there now for me. So, Brilliant Stars time. Come on. Come on. And oh, it's a hollow. It's, it's a hollow. It's a hollow. Right. Okay. Next one. And this is the last of the sleeves boosters. And so far, we've come out of it with one full art. But is there a big hit here? No, there is not. Right. Doing the Galarian tin next, guys. And this thing is like sealed or what? To get open. Let's see what packs it came with. I reckon Chilly Rain, but it's got Rebel Clash. Yo! What? This has got Cosmic Eclipse in it? Oh my word, how was that still on the shelf? How were people not buying these? Oh my god. Cosmic Eclipse has got to be like the best Sun and Moon era set. It's absolutely incredible. And uh, I obviously need some big cards from that, like the Braxian card. But let's see if we get anything from Rebel, which, by the way, is just my least favorite Sword and Shield era set. But Cosmic Eclipse, this is a hella set, guys. And, uh, oh. Right, let's go Crown Zenith tin now, guys. This is obviously a really, really good product. And I think what a way. I, 
I really, really enjoyed this. There's, again, there's not mad value to Crown Zenith and stuff like that, but come on, like how much fun, like it's not always about value and stuff, like it's about enjoying a product. And Crown Zenith for me is one that you can really, really enjoy. I think there's so many cool cards in it, like, <gasps> okay, we've got something. We have the Zamazenta V-Star. I don't think I've ever pulled that from Crown Zenith, you know. I just don't think I have. That's that's last, but okay. The Zamazenta, very nice. Let's see if pack number two of Crown Zenith is gonna get us and get, oh, there's so many products there I would have opened. Imagine just what cards were in those things sat on that shelf. There was so, there was blatantly so many alt arts. We got that, and we got the Reggie Gigas V. So two hits from Crown Zenith, we'll take it. Next up guys, we have this. These are the booster bundles. So you just get six booster packs in these. Uh, it was like an American exclusive product for a little bit, but you seem to be able to get it at all the Pokemon at Pokemon Center in the UK now for the last few sets. And as you can see, you literally get your six, one, two, three, four, five, six packs inside. Get rid of the box there. Scarlet and Violet, here we go. Big illustration card about to come out of these packs. You watch, nothing in. Oh, 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 oh. Nope. Is there gonna be some? Oh my God, no way! This is what I need! Right, so we got that full like Arcanine in that box, so um, we will take that. Question is, can we? Shut up! Shut up! Oh my god! Oh! No way! What a pack! Here we go, guys. Two more left. Another big hit. Any more in this? That was a wicked pack right there. Right, last pack magic from these uh, booster pack bundles and it's not looking promising no nothing in that one but all in all that was actually really good all right main event time guys this is the big one this sit the uh, pokemon center if brilliant stars etb first pack now i can't believe how quickly i've just gone through this whole purchase a whole day like, i'm shattered from pokemon center and the whole day up there. I had an amazing time, by the way. Like, my son really, really enjoyed himself. And, like, I think we've made some really nice memories for the future. It's the first time I actually took him out on such a big day out. Just me and him, really. Oh, my friend Cam obviously came. But it was really, really nice to do. And um, him meeting Pikachu is actually my highlight. Like, even if I pull a Charizard or something like that, my highlight of the day is my son getting to meet and give Pikachu a hug. Like, his smile afterwards, guys, like... Honestly, I, I yeah, even now I think about it, I was just like, man, that's so cool, so cool. But um, oh, uh, that that made it all worthwhile. The long sat in traffic, you know, the money I spent, the parking, the blah blah blah. But it was all worthwhile. We got a hollow there, guys, to just see my son happy and just to give him some good memories. So, right, let's get into these packs though. It's gone a bit quiet on these. Let's see if we can get something. Come on, and we did. We hit a full art Kindler right in there so uh not bad nice full art but so far we'll say hollow and a full art we've got from this etb um not gonna lie if you didn't get like something else big in this box the amount of money it cost to buy one of these you'd be a bit gutted but etbs are just no guarantees of what you're gonna get hits wise when you buy an etb so there is it's so much like booster boxes are kind of your only guarantee for any form of hits. Yo, the Vaporeon Trainer Gallery card. Okay, a few more packs left to go, guys, and then we'll be wrapping up the video and uh, hopefully wrapping off with a bit of a bang. Hopefully we can get a big card. Like, it would be wicked if we got Charizard. Like, what a way to finish off the day, right? Um, especially as I'm absolutely shattered. Like, you see my eyes? Come on, give me that last bit of hype. Two packs left to go. Charizard pack. And then, uh, yeah, I think we've opened everything. I'm trying to feel like I've like left something, but uh, I, I have not, no. Wow, okay. It all comes down to last pack magic to finish off the day with a bang. Here we go. Last pack magic. We're gonna go a bit slower with this pack. Here we go, it's Clefairy, Carablos, Milsery, Starly. Okay, no trainer gallery, but Okay, that was, yeah, a, a bit of a dud. 
So there we go guys, as you can see, it went all right. I spent a lot, I got three good hits. I've got some cards I actually really wanted, no Charizard, but I did have an awesome day at the pop-up Pokemon Center at the European Championships. And I hope you guys that managed to make your way along to it had a good time as well too. I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences and everything in the comments down below. Look, I know it wasn't quite as good as the world's version, you get all those exclusive items, but it was still really nice to be able to go and shop at a Pokemon Center. We do not have one here in the UK. Hopefully at some point, Pokemon decide to actually open a physical store somewhere in the UK, because I think if they did, it would be great. People would love it. But hopefully they do at some point. But for now, we just have to make do with these pop-ups, which I'm so grateful for, to be able to make some awesome memories with my son. It was amazing just for that alone. But what did you think about it? Or what do you think about the items I bought? What do you think about the pop-up shop? Let me know in the comments down below. Other than that though, thank you so much for watching guys. Do make sure to go and drop a subscribe here on the channel. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it and check out some of our videos. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go and pass out and go to sleep. Catch you in the next one, peace.